Another civilian arrives at this hospital on the outskirts of Mariupol. Every day, more than 10 people are admitted on average, most with shrapnel injuries. The conflict has upended these people's lives completely. Nearly 8,000 people have gathered at a humanitarian aid center for daily necessities. What's different today is a mini concert for the stranded civilians and refugees. Quite a religious tune from Bach is played to inspire these people whose homeland has been destroyed. Yeah. I can't count on this. I hope it helps in some way. These people who are here lost their houses. Most of them are going through the same suffering as Jesus. I want to support them and to say to them that after these sufferings always comes resurrection. After a brief indulgence in music, a return to reality, the basic need for food and water. We drove into the inner areas of Mariupol, row after row of buildings burned to the ground. In this humanitarian aid center, over 1,000 people living nearby come here on a daily basis. Not far away from here, shells, explosives and a body are left unattended. We are in the center of the city right now, literally several crossroads away from us. There are still military actions. It's still dangerous here. We are trying our best to save people by choosing this location, which is best protected from mortar attack. Though considered unsafe, the organizers said this is the best they could manage for now. Fearing possible attacks on the center of Mariupol, a shelter is the only choice for the homeless. There were no lights or any sanitary system. This shelter used to accommodate about 150 people, now it's 15. Victoria Bondarenko told me she used to be a financial director. Now she's lost everything. Of course I can say one thing to the world. War is horrible, undoubtedly. War leads to hunger and death. It's very hard to talk about it. There is emptiness inside me. The city has been bombarded for over a month. Most houses have been reduced to rubble and their owners are left struggling like Victoria. Before the conflict, there were doctors, lawyers, university professors, engineers, but now they are homeless waiting for humanitarian aid. They don't know when they will be able to return to their normal life just like before, but the continuous blasts keep reminding them that the conflict is far from over. Li Jianhua, CGTN, Mariupol.